Hello everybody, welcome back to I Dream of Indie. This is Old Gamer Joe here with another review for you today as we look at Brotherhood United from East Asia Soft. We played it on the PlayStation 4. It is also available on the Xbox One. It had previously been released on the Nintendo Switch back in March as well and back in 2018 on the Steam PC platform. Brotherhood United is a 2D action side-scrolling shooter that seems to take quite a bit of inspiration from the Metal Slug series in particular. Brotherhood United puts you in control of a member of the Brotherhood, which you can customize a little bit, changing the clothing and the hairstyle, but that's about it. There's not too many options. And the goal is to help your captured Brotherhood members. This game really wants you to know that these are some bad dudes. They drink beer, they shoot guns, and right from the title screen, it lets you know that this is going to be a violent experience. Gameplay is very straightforward in this title. You run forward and you're trying to blast away at enemies. You can jump and you can drop down from different ledges. You of course shoot with the square button and you can actually aim your shots diagonally to hit enemies that way using the L1 and R1 buttons. You can also use grenades by pressing the triangle button and you have the ability to roll as well which will help you to avoid enemy fire or just bypass them completely. But more or less that's all there is to the gameplay here. You can pick up a pretty decent variety of weapons, everything from machine guns to rocket launchers, and those can be fun to experiment with. And again, similar to Metal Slug, there are hostages along the way, some of them actually look straight out of that game, that you can free. You have to find them in certain areas of the level, and this will add to your ultimate score. You do get ranked on a three-star system here, and the better that you perform, whether it be score, how many enemies that you killed, or how much damage you take, you're ranked based on your performance. So getting three stars is going to be the real challenge here, because the levels aren't super difficult to get through. Brotherhood United doesn't have any difficulty options, but you can pick up from where you left off so long as you've completed a level by going into the options menu and selecting the level that you want to start on. So this is not an overly challenging game outside of trying to get the three star rankings like I mentioned. In total, you have 20 different levels to go through here. There are eight bosses, and there are three subquests in each of those levels as well. So it will keep you busy for a few hours. It's not a super long experience that you're going to be playing over and over again unless you really want to get those three-star rankings, but it's a decent amount of levels. I found that the gameplay mechanics were pretty solid here. The jumping works well enough, the dodge roll is okay, but the actual gameplay is just kind of flat and not that exciting for a shooter. You can actually bypass a lot of these levels just by running by a ton of these enemies, which do get pretty repetitive by the way. But when you get down to the fundamentals, everything works okay. It just doesn't feel new, fresh, exciting, or innovative in any way whatsoever. And that's perfectly fine. It's a suitable shooter, but it's not the most exciting one. It's a little dull and boring at times. Oh, and one last thing I should mention in terms of gameplay here is the fact that you can close melee enemies with a knife attack as well. So that's kind of nice, but on the whole, I just feel like the game was lacking excitement, whether it be its bosses, which are pretty bland and boring, or the general scrolling through these levels. It's just not a ton of fun. There are better shooter options out there, but it is competent. There is thankfully a co-op option, which unfortunately I didn't get to test for this review, but I'm sure playing it with a friend is a little bit more enjoyable than romping through it solo. It usually is the case with these style of games. Graphically, Brotherhood United is okay looking. It's very pixelated, so I don't mind pixelated graphics. I actually love them, but everything feels really zoomed in in this title, and I wasn't necessarily the biggest fan of the viewpoint, but I will say the title screen is actually really great in this game. It gives you a nice first impression. Enemy designs, they're kind of bland and boring. You'll see a lot of the same ladybug robot type creature for a long, long time. You can get into some vehicles, which is cool at times. So expect to see a lot of the same stuff over and over again. Each level is broken up into different sections that just kind of seem to go on for too long. But I will say that some of the bosses look kind of nice. You have giant robots to take down. And I would say those were the best looking features of this game because the level design is pretty flat and boring. Again, you have generic cities, sci-fi settings and caves, that kind of thing. Nothing to get excited about here. The game does have a decent retro-inspired soundtrack, though. I will say the mix felt a little bit off for me. The sound effects were far too loud, so you couldn't really always hear the soundtrack as well as you would like. But on the whole, the sound design isn't terrible in this game. It's pretty much what you would be expecting. Some giant retro booms and bangs, and some decent music. Brotherhood United isn't the most exciting shooter to play. It's decent fun. I can imagine with a friend you could have a couple hours of entertainment with it. At $8.99, it's not a high asking price for 20 different levels. 
but it feels generic and it doesn't feel new or fresh or exciting. The action is a little bit bland and boring. I was rolling through a lot of the levels and the boss encounters while they were probably the strongest point of the game, but they were still pretty boring. I just think that's a theme here. This isn't the most exciting shooter that you're going to play, and you're likely going to forget about this one rather quickly. So will you be checking out Brotherhood United? Let us know in the comments section below, and if you have enjoyed our video coverage today, consider hitting the subscribe button. It helps us to bring a voice to the voiceless ones in gaming. There's a ton of other ways that you can support I Dream of Indie down in the description box below. That includes becoming a channel member, checking out our Discord, or maybe even purchasing some of our merchandise in the merchandise store. But however you end up supporting I Dream of Indie, we thank you so much for doing so.